Hello again, everybody, and welcome back to another episode, the final episode of the Minecraft Only Underground Challenge. We are here, and we are ready to finish this thing off. So this episode is where we reach our goal of oops, um, getting a four-tier beacon. Now, originally, we were going to do one four-tier beacon. Now, we're going to do... Four or four tier beacons because last time we were able to get a bunch of wither skeleton skulls. Look at that. Look at how many wither skeleton skulls we have. And we've got the soul sand to go with it. We need four, which is going to be 16. So there you go. Bam. So we're going to go find some place in the caves to do this and to try to do it safely. Uh, obviously, we're going to do it with armor. We should make some. Actually, we have a bunch, don't we? Yes, we do have a bunch of regen potions, so I'll bring a bunch of regen like that. Uh, I'll also, hold on. Let's put all of this in here. Let's just move all of this old stuff that we were using for the, like, we have all these extra iron blocks just in case we don't have enough for the, the beacon, but we should. We'll bring some instant health, because instant health is always good to have. And then I think we're going to make some strength potions, because we haven't done that yet. So... I'm actually going to grab these because <laughs> they're sitting on the ground right there. Um, we do have a brewing stand. We don't have any glass bottles, but we can get some glass bottles pretty easily just by... Oh, we have some glass bottles. Okay, good. Uh, we will go like this real quick. We go bonk, 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 bonk. Bink, bink. Okay. Grab that and put these torches back down. All right, so... Bam, bam, bam. We want to put some nether wart in there. Do we even have nether wart? That would be in our... We... we Oh, we do. Okay, good. Yeah, we need a couple of these. Like this. Boom. And that'll make it to a strength potion. Let's grab our blocks back like that. Okay. Cool. So, we'll have all our potions sitting in here. Let's also just like, clear out some space. Maybe... Get rid of the redstone or iron and the emeralds. Never mind. We don't have enough space in here. Let's, in that case, go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Perfect. Let's go like this. Bam. Clears a bunch of space in here. Beautiful. Let's get these out of here. Let's go like that. Let's get these out of here. Let's go like this let's get these out of here let's go like this and like that okay so this is an awkward potion now we need blaze powder to make it a strength potion and i think we need oops there we go <clears throat> i think we need what is it glowstone to make it into I don't know if we... I don't think we have glowstone. So we won't have strength two. But that should be fine. We'll be fine without it. Right, guys? We've got netherite armor. That's enough. Okay. <clears throat> so this will make a strength potion. Very cool. We can make it long. So that's good at least. We'll do that. Uh, let's do this. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. And now we have everything we need to make a second set of those. So we'll have a bunch. Um, the first... Uh... Wither, I want to fight normally. The second one, I kind of want to try to cheese with a mace. <laughs> I think it would be really fun if we could try to try to do a bunch of damage to it with a mace. But we're going to need to find a big open spot. There we go. We got some long strength potions. Um, I think it would be cool if we found like a big open spot to try to do that. Uh, it's both For both fights. Obviously, we don't want to just do it in here because that would suck. Um, it would destroy everything. So we're not going to do it like that. We're going to do it somewhere in the cave. And, um, yeah. But this is going to be the end of the series, which, you know, is bittersweet. It's always it's always bittersweet when we end a series. Um, but it's been a really fun one. I've really, really enjoyed. We'll take a little quick world tour after, uh, after we're done. And we'll even go to the surface for the very first time ever and see what, what our world looks like from the top. Because we've never actually seen up there, which is really cool. It's a different kind of experience for this. I've never, I've never done something like that um, <clears throat> in Minecraft, so I'm, I'm kind of excited to go check out the top of a world that I've never ever seen before. So that'll be really cool for the end of the episode. But we've got to do our fights first, and we've got to do them successfully. 
Let me take that. Let me take... Where's the paper? I thought I left the paper in here somewhere. Ah, whatever. Who cares? We have enough firework rockets. It's gonna be fine. Okay. So, I think it would be fun, actually, to... Let's go like this. Take all this with us. I think it would be fun, let's see, to try to do it in one of the dark spots that we have in the cave. Because then we'll have, like, other things to be worried about. Like, there's this big room over here. Yeah, in here. <laughs> this would be kind of interesting, right? Because we've got, like, the other enemies to worry about. I think this is be cool. So, here, let me put this down. I think we could go for two regens, an instant health, and a strength. That should be enough for each fight. Uh, we want to keep that on us. Let's put take these off and put that on. We are fully geared up. Of course, it's going to be dark. So that's like the one reason I kind of don't want to do it like this. But I sort of do want to do it like this. Let's see. Uh, let's make it a little bit light over here. We'll put some lights in here. We'll light it up a little bit. Make sure that you guys can see a bit. Obviously, I don't want it to be like pitch dark when we do these. I think it'll be cool to try on this, uh, on this ground, on this, like, whatever, topography to try to do, like, the mace hits. I think that'd be cool. I don't know if it'll work very well on the wither since the wither is up in the air anyway. So even if I use, um, wind charges to get up there and then come back down and hit it, it's going to be kind of interesting. It's going to be weird. Okay, so here we go. The very first one to kick off the episode. I'm excited. I hope you're excited too. We're going to do it. We're going to strength right now. Boom. We will regen right after spawning it. And then we will have a an instant health on the bar. Okay. <laughs> the, the place looks very odd now. Okay, instant health on the bar. Here we go. Here we go. All right. The regen will come in clutch here. We get lots of damage from this bow. Just like stay on it. The Yep. The thorns is doing well too. We're getting hits on them even when we're missing with the bow. Ah, I'm missing. Okay, okay, okay. We got it, we got it, we got it, we got it. We're taking a little bit of damage. I see that we're three hearts down. Okay, we need to we need a drink actually. Okay, that's good. We're fine. Wow. Why did I feel like I was in midair the whole time? <laughs> well, there is our very first... Where did we get our Wither Rose from? I don't even know how we got that. Um, there is our very first Nether Star. Okay, this was annoying. I wasn't expecting this to be a whole problem. But this, like, killed my mo my uh, movement completely. So let's, let's take care of that. Let's go like that. Ouch. Wither for so long. Okay. And then this one as well. I think that'll be better. Okay. Very cool. Very, very cool. All right. Get off of me. Now, we don't need to take another strength, but I should keep a couple more instant health on me. Definitely another regen. I'll do two more instant health. Okay. We're going to try the mace for a while, but I don't think we're going to keep it the whole time. Because I feel like it'll definitely start owning me <laughs> if I try to do it the whole time. So, yeah. We're going to switch these out. Actually, we're probably going to do this. Yeah. And then that. And then we're going to do this. Hey, get away. Should I do it only in melee or should I do it... Hold on. Let's, let's do this, actually. Make sure that we have a good supply of them. Yeah. There we go. Okay, good. Uh, let's go bam, bam, and then bam, bam, bam. Okay, we're going to try it the whole way through, even though at first it's going to be in the air, so that might be stupid. Uh, okay, here we go. Oh, I need to... Uh-oh, I forgot. Okay, here we go. No, it's it's still above me. Oh, I can't, I can't do it. Okay, it, it stays above you. It stays above you. Ow. Help. 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 Why do it, I feel like I'm floating the whole time. Is it because it's like hitting under me? 
Okay, hit the land the hits. Ouch. Okay, hold on. Switch. Let me do that. Let me do this. Okay, okay, we're fine, we're fine. Hit these. Yeah, it is. It's like blowing me up into the air. It actually messes me up so much. There we go. Okay, here we go. We're gonna try. We're gonna try this. We're gonna try this. Ow, ow. Okay, we need to we need to eat though. First. Because we're not gonna be able to do it otherwise. Okay, here we go. Boom! That didn't work at all. It doesn't work! Because it floats up with me! Okay, 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 okay. This is stupid, this was stupid, this was stupid. This was stupid. Switch, switch! Get in here! <laughs> get it! Get it! Get it! Get it! We don't want a 15th death! Oh my god. Oh, oh! The spiders! Oh my god! Whoa, 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 whoa! Don't wash away my nether star or anything like that. Okay, get out of here. Get out. Huh. Oh, boy. That was a little scary. Check this out, though. Whoppa! <laughs> Dude, this thing is annoying. I hate that it, like, blows up all these blocks, man. This is, like, it makes it hard. I guess that's the point, though. So it does an effective job. My goodness, it does a lot of damage. The wither itself just does so much damage. Let's just eat, drink this to heal up real fast. We will bring out the last of that. We'll need a couple more of these. Okay, so we can cheese them now because I feel like we've done enough like actual fighting that I think it would be fun to try to cheese one. Let's see if we can actually do that. So if I like went in here or something like this, right over here oh there's a cave in here okay i don't want i don't really want him to be able to get out into the cave so maybe like this will be fine okay and then we dig a little space big enough for the wither to of course of course i dig exactly where gravel is that's so fun okay and then I think we need even more space, actually. Pretty sure nothing, no blocks can be touching the whole thing. So I need this much space. Okay. Pretty sure this, no, this will do fine. Bam. Okay, ready? So, we go like this. We go bam, bam, bam. Bam, nothing's touching them. We go boom, boom, bam. Okay, that worked. Now we stand back like this, and then we bow it from afar, right? Right? We can do that, right? Hopefully, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe not. Who knows? Okay, I hit it. I hit it again. I hit it again. Oh, it's coming towards me. It is coming towards me. It is. It's coming. It's coming here. Wait. Wait. We're fine. We can't hit it with bow now? Okay, that's fine. We go like this. Where are you? No problem. No problem. Yeah, you're done. You're done, Zo, buddy. Like it's nothing. Like it's nothing. Butte. Absolute butte. Did he kill something in here? Where did that XP come from? Oh, it was from the coal. That's what it was. Okay. We do it again. We do it. We do it the exact same way. He's gonna be—he's gonna pose a little bit more of a threat, but I think we just do it back to back. Here we go. We're not even—we're not even gonna wait for the poison to go away. Whoops! Boom! Bam! Bam! Dang it! Ugh. Bam! Oh god! Okay, run! 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 Let's drink this. Yes! Oh my god! I missed it like 600 times. Let's drink this. Let's have that on the bar. Let's eat. Okay, I don't know where he is. Where did he go? Uh-oh, where did he go? Oh, there he is. Oh, God, he's coming. He's coming. He's coming. He's in the ceiling. Wait, where is he? Oh, he's there. I'm hitting his tail. I don't know how. He's, like, right. Where is he? He's right there. I see you. I see you. Oh, you're, 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 okay, you're ready. Get in here. Bam, 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 bam. Crits, crits. Let my thorns kill him. Let my thorns kill him. Ready? Thorns. 
swords! Yes! <laughs> oh, that's awesome. What a way to finish. And that is it, man. Four wither, wither fights. That is what this entire series has been leading up to. Is four little wither fights. And they were like nothing. Like butter, baby. We are done. This episode is going to be so short. Nah, we'll make most of it the world tour. We'll make the finale part of it just this. Let's fly through. Fly through the caves real quick. I wonder if we could do it with our with this one. Hold on. I want to reorganize everything here. Should be like that. All right. There was water back here, right? Uh-huh. Ready? Watch this. We take this. We go like this. And we go... Whoop! Nope. We go... Wait. We go... Whoop! What? Whoop! Oh, my God. I can't see. <laughs> Let me take that off. Wait, 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 go! Ouch! Oh my god, I almost killed myself. No! Leave me alone. Okay, fine. We'll we'll do normal. I'm too scared. Whoa. Nice. All right. So where do we want to set it up? Probably like right in the center, right? Like somewhere like right here. I think like right here is a perfect spot. Okay, we're going to kind of set it up in the ground so it's not so ugly, but a little bit. So we're going to do a 10 by 10 uh, because normally it's 9 by 9, but we're doing 10 by 10 to make four. Oh, yeah, we have to also make the beacon, uh, the beacons themselves. Kind of forgot about that part. Plus, we need to get everything to. Yeah, okay, let's let's organize a little bit. Let's organize a wee little bit. Of course, I missed that. Why not? Oh, God. Okay. Here we go. So. Uh, let's pop these in here. Let's empty this out. Let's go like this also. Oh, yeah. We're like completely full on blocks. I forgot about that. Uh, we'll pop the rest of these in here. We can pop these in here. Because we've got a bunch of it in here already. Okay, and then we got glass bottles sitting around like that. We got all of these, and we can put them away. Boom, 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 boom. Nope. Boom, 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 boom. We got that like that. We got coal like that. Very cool. All right. Bam. All right, so let's take as many iron you know what actually i kind of want to try to do it just from the iron farm because the, the thing has been like afk the whole time look at our one wither rose can go right there oh we forgot to eat these enchanted golden apples that would have been fun to do um anyway okay so let's see let's go down here and let's see how much we can get from just this so i know that a normal oh i already had that open lol wow yeah there's a lot in here all right, do I have a crafting table sitting down here at all? No. Okay, let me do this then. Uh, we're gonna go like this. Thing is still working. Bam. I know it's two stacks and 36 is like a full beacon. So this should in theory be enough already. <laughs> and I've only taken from two of the chests. Oops. But I'll like, whoops, why is it doing that? I'll like go all the way, why not, right? Oh, let's do this then. Up, up, up. Bonk, 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 bonk. Okay. Bam. Then bonk. Hey, come on. Figure it out. Oops. Bonk. Look at all these iron blocks, man. Let's just turn it all, right? All right. We go like that. Oops. We go like this. We go like this. We go like this. They're going to be adding more. No, no, no. Okay, not all of it, but a lot of it. There we go. Boom. 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 All right. And look at that. There's only a few left in here. Eight left in here. Look how much we have. <laughs> Holy crap. 
That is crazy. Okay, give me that. Close that up. Thank you, Iron Farm, for serving us so well. We'll come back to that in the world tour. Okay. Here we go. So, oh yeah, and we still need to make the beacons themselves. We actually need obsidian for that, which we might not have. We have 15. We need 12. Okay, perfect. I think we need glass, too, don't we? We do not have enough glass. Because I think it's 5 per. Right? It's like this, right? Yes, so we had enough to make two, but not enough to make more. We need ten total more, so we only need six more of this. Let me just pop that in there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Take this gold. Was there any more gold laying around? Nope. Okay. We'll put a piece of coal in. There. Get rid of that stick. Okay. That'll cook up. Yeah, we only needed... 12 of this obsidian, so that's cool. Um, and then we need to dig a hole to the top. And that'll be the first time that we're allowed to escape. We can escape through the top. That'll be fun, I think. You know what? Let's make a bit more... Uh, whatchamacall? Glass? Because I have a special idea. So let's just cook up like 48 more beep beep bonk there we go okay bam we only need this one left or i guess i'll just take that one bam bam and bam and there is our four beacons that is so awesome all right four beacons one episode we toss this away like that we toss this in here like that this is all organized and nice. And then let's take all of our blocks of iron down here and make a giant iron beacon. So, let's see. We need to do a 10 by 10 base. So we want it to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay? We're going right there. And then you know what? That ends perfect. I like the way that ends. Right there. And then we need to go 3... Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, it should be right here. Nice. Okay. So, we need this entire base to be iron. Just like this. Boom, 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 boom. And we can dig the entire thing out with the flesh of a button. Bam! Okay, nice. So I wanted to place all the iron together because that's the most satisfying part. Bam, bam, bam. We definitely have enough, not in our inventory, but in our shulker box. I mean, this alone is 100. So we need multiple stacks just for this. But we will see... Go. Boom, 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 boom. And I kind of want to make it like buried into the side of the mountain rather than like cut out. So I'm going to try to f replace some of these blocks. Like, because we need this. But some of this can be filled back in. So I'll just place all of this back in like this. And even that can be filled back in. Right? like that and then kind of want to get some of the natural feel of the land like that uh-huh uh-huh like this maybe beauty okay and let's turn it this way we'll go like this and another stack so this layer is 64 it should be Mm, let's fill this mostly in with deep slate as well, cobbled. And then right here, we will make it up with a little bit of normal, like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, fill in the middle. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. And then the next layer is this one. And this should be uh, 
36, right? Is that right? I think so. It's 10, then 8, then 6, then 4. Yeah. Alright. And that kind of follows the general shape of what was here already. Pretty cool. And then we just clear a little space for the beacons themselves right there. Uh, this does have a problem, I think. It needs to be a little bit less regular. Maybe like that. Yeah. Something like that. I don't know. Okay, and then these go down like this. Oh, I forgot they glow. That's awesome. Okay, and so now, here's the tricky part. We're going to have to dig all the way up to the surface from here. All right? Yeah. So we're going to go up right here. We want 48, negative 311 to 47. So negative 47, negative 311 to 48. 48, negative 312, like that. Okay, cool. That is what we want. I mean, it's as easy as just doing this, though. And I will not make you guys watch this whole thing. But I will chat a little bit as we wrap up the final build for the for the series. I really enjoyed this one. It, it didn't keep me as, like, engaged, like, drastically engaged as some of my other series have. Like, Pixelmon, Pixelmon would come and go in waves. I would kind of, you know, sit down and, and play for weeks at a time. Like, every day for weeks. Uh, in, in weird little bursts. And then I'd kind of lose interest and I'd stop playing for, like, a month or so. Um, but, yeah. This one didn't grasp me as much. And you guys kind of saw that in the fact that I missed a couple of the posting days. And that was just because, like, I didn't find time in the week to actually, like you know, post anything for it. So I just wouldn't do it. And then, you know, I just wasn't that interested in it. I liked it a lot and I liked playing it and I'm glad that we finished it and I'm glad that we did it. I don't regret it at all. Um, but that being said, it just didn't like really grab me like other series have. Like one chunk challenge I played like all the way through. MC Eternal I played like a bunch. Of course, also I'm just more busy now. And I think that that's really the the difference is that I just don't have the time to be playing Minecraft all the time anymore. Um, Cause I have, you know, a full on job. But I don't know, um, whatever, the, whatever the reason, I just wasn't as grasped by it, but I did really enjoy it. And now that I'm finishing it, that means I can start recording Subnautica, which is what won the vote on a poll I did a few months ago. And uh, people seem to be looking forward to seeing it because a couple people have asked like when I'm going to start doing it. So uh, I am excited to start it because it looks like a really cool game. I have, I low-key have like Thalassophobia. I think that's how you pronounce it. Thalassophobia. Not Thassalophobia. Yeah, no, it's Thalassophobia. I have like Thalassophobia. Um, so I'll be facing fears <laughs> doing that one. Um, and I also have, um, megalophobia. So it's like those two fears combined are literally what the game is. You know, megalophobia is a fear of like unnaturally large things. Um, and thalassophobia is a fear of deep ocean. So I know that there's like leviathans in this game and they like come out of the deep and you can see the silhouette of them and they're like bigger than you could ever imagine and they start swimming towards you and you're just a tiny little human and that to me sounds terrifying and that's kind of why I wanted to play it because I like facing fears and even though it's just a video game it'll still help me face that fear a little bit so yeah that's uh I'm, I'm looking forward to it hello cave that we've never seen before please get away from me skeleton Okay, we should be getting close to the top. I'm not sure how close. I don't really want to check the Y coordinate because I think this is more fun to like do it mystery way. And then I have to dig the entire pillar back down, which is annoying, but at least I'm getting like all of this done. Okay, but yeah. Um, okay, I'll check the Y just so, oh, I'm still like 30 blocks away. Okay, let me cut back to when we're done. Okay, I believe we're here. It should be the last layers. There it is. 
the first time completely exposing myself. Oh my gosh. We did it, guys. We're on the surface. We're on the surface. Look. We've done it. This is amazing. There's a chicken here. Chickens are the one animal that I was able to get. I did have the pigs trapped. I don't know where. I think it should be this way. Uh, like our, our, our cave. Yeah, it's like right here, right? Is this our cave? Okay, I don't want to explore too much yet. There's a ruined portal right here. That's pretty cool. Okay, so now I have to dig this down. That's fine. Um, and then we can do the special thing that I was wanting to do. And we have to activate the actual beacons themselves. Uh, and put in their, like, powers. So that's another thing we gotta do. But, um... Yeah, this is this is the end of the series, guys, and I'm really excited that it's over, really, because I get to work on some other things, and that's a lot of fun, and I'm looking forward to it. Um, but yeah, so we'll do a quick little world tour. I'm going to hop in probably Spectator, and we'll go around in Spectator and just check it all out. There we go, getting down. Our beautiful, beautiful underground world. And we are good. Bam! Look at that. Bring home the beacon. And beaconator. Okay, so let's take these. Let's go speed two for sure. I like to do speed two. Bam. Uh, probably haste two. Man, I wish I had this haste two a long time ago. We'll do the resistance and the regen, I think. And then, oh, it's, oh, there's five things. Oops. That's right. I kind of forgot about that. Uh, probably the jump boost, right? We don't ever fight things here, so jump boost too. Okay. Boing. Wait, it didn't activate. Boing. Oh, look at us go. We got jump boost now. Look at it. That is awesome. Okay. The last thing I wanted to do when we first just fly up here. Wee! Ow! Come on, man. Okay. Oops. Bunk, bunk. Okay. So, first of all, let me put all of this away. Of course, I still have no room for cobbled deep slate, so <laughs> I'm literally out of, out of room completely. I'm just gonna drop it all on the ground. That's fine. Um. Okay, and then all these iron blocks are totally unaccounted for. They're going in here. I don't even have room to store them all. We'll keep them in here. Why not? Our, our lucky shulker box is going to stay on us. Okay, and then last but not least, let's pick up a stack of cobblestone real quick as our blocks. Okay, so um, I want to grab this glass. Yes. And I want to make some colored beacons. That's what I want to do. I want to do like one pink, one purple, one red, one orange maybe. Pink, purple, red, orange. No, pink, purple, red, blue, right? Yeah, I think that's the best way to go. We got blue. We got maybe two blue. Or should I do pink, purple, red, magenta? Purple. Red, magenta, nope. I always forget what magenta is. I think it's white, or it's pink and... Bam, bam. This is red. This is pink. Pink and purple, right? Yeah, magenta. This would probably be a cool combination. Yeah, I like that. It's like gradients. Okay, toss those, get them out of here. So we gotta make this of each. Boom. We go boom. We go boom. And we go bam. Right? And then we toss this die. And we go like this to make panes of each. So that way we can actually hide. Mm-hmm. And then we take all this extra glass and put it in here. Because we don't need it no more. Bam. And take each of these and come down here. Get out of here. Alright, and we make one pink. 
<laughs> cool. I love that it hides it. One magenta. The purple needs to be next to magenta. And the red next to the purple. Oh, but they connect to one another. That's so annoying. Wait, actually, I know how to fix that. No, I don't. No, I don't, do I? Dang it. That's okay. I need it to not connect it here, though, or else that'll bug me. <laughs> there we go. Good enough. Yeah. Okay. There you go. There you have it. There's our complete four tier four beacons. Oh, heck yes. The series is over, everybody. And with that, I think we will take a flight over to uh, the end. Nah, we'll do that later. Okay, let's start the world tour. So that's it. That is the last thing that I need to do in survival in this world. It is awesome. Let's start the world tour over where it all started, though, at spawn, which is out, which is right over here. And we will hop into spectator mode to do this. Ow. Okay. Right here is our world spawn. We started right around here. We must have gotten some redstone or something from there. We started right here. I think at the bottom of this lava, lava flow right here. Pretty cool. Um, we came up this way. We had some trouble with zombies on the first episode. They killed us a couple times here. 14 was the total death count, which is honestly pretty surprising. I'm surprised I haven't... I, I got to 14 and I never died. I think it's been like 8 episodes. 8 or 9 or maybe 10 episodes. that We, we just didn't die. Um, yeah, so we came up here. We started going this way. We found the lush cave. That was a good, good thing because we needed it for uh, a renewable wood source. Um, otherwise, we wouldn't have been able to actually farm wood. But from the azalea plants we were able to get a sustainable wood source once we were able to get wood or er, bones came down this way and we kind of saw this beautiful open cave and we decided to make it our home so as you can see we've got this floating home here it's hanging from the ceiling i could have made it a little lower maybe but i wanted it to connect to this like uh mine shaft platform but it would have been cooler i think if it was lower Cause then it really would have looked like it was hanging. I could have put more chains everywhere. But anyway, um, we've got this like cool floating house. Of course, we didn't have glass, so we used iron bars. You know, very limited resources down here. We had deep slate, we had stone, we had iron, and we had uh, wood. And that was basically all you had to build. It doesn't, you know, very very limit very limited building materials. Um, how did we get saplings? Oh, I guess we got that from. Yeah, we just... Hold on. Weather clear. Uh, we got that from uh, from just, like, grabbing a sapling off the side, didn't we? But this is where we set up shop. We were able to get pumpkins and melons from the mine shaft um, and set up a farm. And that was our first sustainable food source was melons. Of course, they're terrible, but they did us just fine while we were still trying to cook up some wheat. And that was not a good enough food source yet. We, s we lived off of melons for a very long time. And after a while, we upgraded to pumpkin pie, uh, which was great because... Uh, oh, and chickens. We started getting our chickens, and that enabled us to get pumpkin pie very easily. Plus our sugar cane. We got those two things at the same time when we went to the stronghold, but we'll go there later. Yeah, so we got the two sugar cane... Or we got the sugar cane from up top and the chickens from up top. The chickens gave us eggs, which upgraded us to pumpkin pie. And soon after, we upgraded the chicken... And then we finally got a carrot from a zombie, and that enabled us to go to Golden Carrots. And that was the food source that we wound up using ever since. We got a sapling from up top in the cave, and that enabled us to give, go, do oak tree rather than azalea tree farming. Which is great, because oak trees grow on, them, on their own, where, uh, whereas azalea trees do not grow on their own. Uh, you have to bone meal them. So this gave us a, an automatic wood source rather than having to spend bones on it. And that was good because we could save a lot of bones for wheat. And wheat became very useful when we got two zombie villagers and was were able to cook up, after going to the nether of course, were able to cook up some weakness potions which enabled us to breed villagers and start an entire breeding or er, villager trading hall. So you can see here that we have very good trades on all of these guys, and they each give us something unique. Of course, we never settle for anything worse, 
anything worse than the 10 for mending trade, which is the best you can possibly get. Got all of these guys that trade us iron, and at the same time we were making this, we also decided to make this. And then if you come through here, you'll see these big old open places right here. We got some villagers stuck in here, so we had to siphon off some villagers from our villager breeder over there and just put them in here. And this is an active uh, iron golem farm. So these these zombies scare the villagers, which spawns in iron golems. And those golems fall into a very humane, very nice uh, hot spa where they spend the rest of their days until they died naturally of old age and then their iron gets collected here so that's that is a very very nice way to get iron and you can see it active right now we'll get to be able to see them go into the spa in the nice jacuzzi let's check it out yeah you can see that they're very happy in the jacuzzi and then natural causes take them out at the end of their natural lifespan right like that right like that Right, like that. Yeah, they, they live a long time. They, 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 they have a long natural lifespan. Anyway, um, so that was a huge addition because that enabled us to have an endless supply of iron and do endless trades, break the emerald economy, and be able to buy literally any book we ever wanted ever. Um, with that, I guess let's go a little bit th far further through our cave. We've got a nice uh, mine shaft he here, which was great for early wood. We could gather gather wood this way. Um, we also found our melon seeds and our beetroot seeds all in here. Pretty much explored the entire thing. I needed to light up a lot of the caves so that the iron spawner or the iron uh, farm would work. We also had a skeleton spawner here, which we barely ever actually used as a farm. I think we made this in like episode two or three. Which is crazy. I had like stone tools still, but I was making <laughs> a skeleton farm. And it was nice. We used it for bones. Bones was the big thing from there. But once we got to the nether, we could get bone blocks and then it was the rest is history. But anyway, the natural lay of the cave brought us over to here where we were actually able to access the surface. And if we come up here, we were able to see... There's our beacons right there. Very cool. We were able to get up here and I think right around here or somewhere closer... There was a tree close enough that we were able to destroy it and a sapling fell down and that was how we were able to get our our uh, oak. So that was really cool. We also tried to get a sheep from here and uh, failed very sadly. He fell to his death and I was very sad. But I kind of expected it. So rip to that one sheep. It didn't matter anyway. I wanted a renewable wool source so that we could get uh beds to do netherite mining but then i realized that ancient cities have like endless wool so we just did it that way um speaking of structures out this way was a long 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 mine that i had to go through until i found because if you'll remember we generated this world in 1.20 so trial spawner or trial chambers did not work or did not exist yet. So even though I made a cartographer villager and he gave me a map to trial chambers, I still had to dig a very very long way and we were able to get this one over no, nope, I don't know where it is. It was over here. This is the one that the map led us to all the way out there, which I don't understand because this one was way closer to where we actually were, but I found this one naturally too by going through the caves over here. So that's pretty cool. Um yeah, trial chambers were on the list. Very cool. Um, you guys didn't get to see those two, though, because I lost those episodes. So the ones that we went to were on the other side where our strip mine is. Uh, but we won't go over there. And we got maces and tridents that way, which is really cool because I was not expecting to get either of those while being underground. Out this way, we decided to just keep digging until we finally found an ancient city. And it's out here somewhere. I don't really remember where it is. And I'm lagging really bad because I'm going so far. Yeah, we hit all of the skull. No, it wasn't that one. It was out here. All the way out here in this deep dark. Right here is where I heard the, the deep dark. And then I walked back and came all the way out here, I guess. I don't even remember how I did all this. I just kept exploring and I just happened to stumble into this right over here. And here we are. A beautiful, beautiful ancient city. Gave us some trouble, but we made it out without any deaths. And that was really, really cool. 
Um, but yeah, that is our overworld. So that's awesome. That's our home. Of course, we went to the nether. We got a bunch of bastions. got a bunch of netherrack. We have our, or not netherrack, netherite. We have our netherite mine down there with explosions. Bed explosions that we were able to do by getting uh, wool from the the ancient city back there. And then, of course, we have our end. And our end has... There's a diamond right there. Our end has uh, the Enderman farm. And we're going to go out there right now. So we'll take a quick trip through the nether and through the end to get there. And then we will end off the episode back at home. But let's check out our nether a little bit. Our nether has a bunch of nether sitting on the ground because I haven't been here for five minutes at a time in this chunk. Um... But yeah, you can see we have our nether fortress out that way. And then if we go this way, we have our quick travel to our end uh, portal, which is out over here. And it took us a very long time. I won't walk you through the entire tunnel for the end portal. Uh, but obviously you have to locate the end portal in the overworld. And that was very, very difficult to do while underground. And it took me a really long time to dig because it was like 15, 1600 blocks away. Um, but here's our end. It's quite beautiful. We did it up a little bit. Here's our end farm out there. You're able to see it from far away. We're going to come over here to heal everything up because I want to end the series on a perfect inventory. So let's, oh god, let's uh, turn that down real quick. Hostile creature six. There we go. All right, we're going to heal everything up. Let's heal up the pickaxes. Like this. Bam. Heal up the armor. The chest plate. Mm-hmm. Switch pickaxes like that. Should heal pretty fast. Switch to the shovel. Pretty fast. Switch to the axe. Pretty fast. And we are fully healed. Okay, that didn't take very long at all. Okay, so here's our beautiful end farm. This did us real well. We were able to enchant all of our diamond armor here and later upgrade it to netherite. Um, but yeah, we did a lot of enchanting here. Got, did a lot of uh, anvil, you know, armor, whatever. Putting books on it. And yeah, so back we go. I almost just accidentally jumped off without, without uh, my elytra. And that would have been terrible. All right, we want a fully, fully perfect inventory right over here. We're going to have a little bit of use on our elytra, but we can fix that with a little bit of, like, redstone or something. Okay, and so with that, we should be able to... Let me go grab, actually, a little bit of this. Yoink. Okay. I wonder if I can, like, jump really high with this now. <laughs> nice. Okay. And, of course, the inside of the house. We never did any furniture. But it served its purpose. It's very cool. Um, okay. I actually don't think that we're going to be able to make a full stack of firework rockets. Yeah, I'm almost positive that we're not. Because 9 times 3 is only... Th yep. Okay. So, before we leave, we have to go hunt some creepers. <laughs> That's what we're going to do at the end of our episode. That's great. We also have to hope that we're able to actually heal our uh, bow, because that's another thing. Okay, I know that I'll have enough to make more wind charges. Okay, let's, let's get up here. We'll use some firework rockets to get more firework rockets from this creeper right over here. Hello, creeper. Oh, our hostile creatures. Video, music, and sounds back up. Boom. Don't hit me. Actually, it's fine because I'll just heal. Oh, he has thorns on his stuff. Wow, fancy zombie. Oh, this chicken. There's a chicken down here. I don't know how that got there. Okay. And let's see if we can get some creepers over here. Anybody? Whoa! Why do we got friends? Ouch! I'm hurting myself. Help. Okay. Here's a creeper. Everybody's got armor today. They know I'm out for blood. Okay. Got it. Let's kill a few friends so that we heal up our armor a bit. Got lots of 
Ender pearls. There we go. Barely any creepers at all. It's kind of annoying. Wow. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. You get out of here. Whoa. Hi. Evil. Try to dive bomb me. Stay back. I'm warning you. Okay. We're fully healed there. Okay, I think... Let's see. 13 times... Or 12 times 3 is 36. Plus 31 is 60. Yeah, it's like barely. It's barely enough. Okay. I think we're good. Let's go back down. Swoop back up. We took a little damage on our elytra, but that's okay. Okay, we're going to go like this. We're going to go like this. And we're going to go like that. Yes, we have a full stack. Okay, good. Keep that like that. Everything's fully healed. We do need to worry about this. And I want to try... I really hope it's not too expensive. That would be so annoying if this was the only thing that we weren't able to do. Let's find out. So we need to do a full bow. Yes. Okay. Oh, and there goes our anvil. Okay, that's fine. Let's craft one more up. Bunk. Bunk. Okay. Bam. Good. Let's take a stack of cobbled deep slate out. Okay. And then we need more torches. That's a big one. Let's see. Can I get it from eight? Yes, I can. Okay. And then we need full wood. Of course. Full iron. Of course. Bam. And we can get full wood. Just like this. Okay. And then carrots. <gasps> We're missing like two. We gotta do it. Okay, wait, get out of my inventory. No, give me that back. Okay, boom, boom. We literally just need two gold. Makes it into carrots like that. All right, and then we go like this, and that finishes up that. And then we go out to that redstone right there. And we... <laughs> I got it. There it is. The perfect inventory yet again for the end of the series. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've all enjoyed. I really did enjoy making this series so, so much. I, I liked it a lot. I hope you guys liked it too. Uh, there will be, of course, many, many more Minecraft challenges like this. I'm really looking at doing can I collect every Minecraft item that thing I, I'm looking I'm looking at that for for our next Minecraft challenge but for now thank you guys so much for watching I hope you have all sincerely enjoyed and until next time until the next series everybody oh I thought that was a creeper <laughs> until the next series everybody thank you so much for watching have a great day and goodbye <laughs>